so our today's topic that is your force yes so fundamentally we can understand that force is a type of push or pull which generally tends to move a object okay yes. force is a type of push or pull which generally tends to move a object okay means it is just like as condition means suppose that if you are in rest position or you are standing okay and your brother is running towards you okay so that means if yes. he is running towards you and when he will hit you okay so 100% that he will apply a force on you or not yes yeah so in that condition and also that regarding to his body there will be a type of magnitude okay which he contains so that means force that is defined as type of push or pull which generally tends to move a object okay yes that means you can also understand suppose that you are in rest position anyone either your brother either your father either your mother would like to apply a force on you and then you you will be displaced from your initial stage okay a position secondly suppose that you are moving or your brother is running towards you if you will apply a little bit force in the opposite direction towards your brother then 100% that he will be he will be stop at that condition or it may be possible that he will change his velocity as well as direction okay yes there are two type of so fundamentally what i am telling you just see on your screen so force force that may be defined as a type of are you able to see clearly on your screen yes type of push or pull okay which tends which tends to move or stop a object okay yes stop an object object okay a little bit you can also increase uh, you can also uh, write there to move or stop an object from its initial stage okay from yes its initial oh uh, wait give me a second from its initial position or initial stage okay yes it is the complete definition of force beta okay there are two types of forces okay two type type of forces okay forces first one is your contact force contact force okay yes and uh, contact force so first one is your contact force what is contact force contact force means a force which act act between between the object objects which are are in physical contact okay yes physical contact they are known as contact forces clear yes a very important and a very easy understanding understanding of contact force that you can take like a friction force okay yes for example friction force friction force okay so what yes. is friction force 
basically yeah, I am writing here about friction force friction force friction force that is type of force type of force which oppose okay yes. which oppose the motion motion of an object okay yes which oppose the motion of an object okay yes when object so when they are they are in contact okay contact yes. to each other okay yes are you understanding clearly beta yes you can also understand physical means uh, friction force suppose that you are standing over here okay yes it is your floor so and you are tend to move in forward direction okay in this direction yes. so 100% you will push earth by your feet in backward direction or not yes so that means you are tend to move in forward direction then a force which will act in backward direction which will oppose your motion that is your friction force okay yes friction force okay so friction force that's why that i am writing here that the type of force which oppose the motion of an object okay if you are moving in forward direction so in that condition the force which will oppose your motion that will be your friction force friction force you can also understand in this way suppose that you your brother your your mother your father all of you are moving okay all of you are moving by car okay suppose that when your father will uh, uh, will uh, uh, left acceleration okay so in that condition yes. after some time the car will stop or not yes so when the car will stop that means each and every time when your father is not accelerating car so that means there will be and car is moving in forward direction so a type of force that will act in a backward direction which will tend to stop the car clear yes understand beta yes great so do you understand clearly the contact forces yes next one is your non contact force give me a second next one is your non contact force non contact force non contact force that means force which act between the object object when they will not in contact okay contact for example its example will be like gravitational force okay yes gravitational force always gravitational force will act between the two objects which are not in contact you can also understand this one like uh, yes suppose that it is your son it is your earth okay so you can see that there will be a distance between two two object or not okay yes. so whatever force that will act between them okay that will be your gravitational force okay yes 
gravitational force always gravitational force will be attractive in nature okay always attractive yes. attractive in nature okay yeah understand that ta yes. do you understand clearly yes great also now I explained that to you fundamentally about the type of forces. There are two fundamental type of forces: contact force and non-contact forces. Contact forces will be the type of force which would like to act between the objects when they will be in contact to each other. Means physical contact. I am talking about. Okay. Secondly, yes. like friction. Secondly, non-contact forces. That means the forces which would the force which would like to act between the objects when they will not be in contact to each other. Always, non-contact forces will be attractive in nature. Okay. Yes. Understand? Yes. Yeah. Now, other thing that type of forces. The force is any influence that can. that cause an object to undergo a specific change yes you can also understand force in this way that force is the type of cause which generally tends to change the shape or size of an object okay yes clear yes yeah something that or whatever then i am not uh, writing here i am explaining verbally to you when you will see your video then also you will understand that clearly okay and if you see that many times then 100% you will get your efficiency okay yes next is your thrust so beta thrust definition that i am writing here by black in color okay yeah so thrust thrust a type of upward force okay yes upward force which act wait hold on which act which act in water okay yes water or liquid okay yes. you can also understand that means a type of upward force means suppose that there is a water okay there is a water yes. so if there is a water so whatever force that will act in suppose that if you will drop a object over there like here a box okay yes and when you will throw a box when you will throw an object into the water okay then if then a type of force will act from down to up okay yes it is your upward force okay or it is your thrust okay yes clear yes or indirectly that you can write in parenthesis that upward force clear beta yes air resistance is also there air resistance is the type of cause which will decrease the velocity of object okay if you are moving in forward direction okay and air is blowing there so 100% that it will it will oppose the motion of object and one time will come that when you will stop okay yes clear yes and also torque torque that means a type of force which would like to change the rotation of object okay yes understand beta yes great so now yeah here you can see that isaac newton was the english physicist and mathematician he determined that gravity was gravity gravity was the force that act between the two masses yes that's right 
so that means gravity you can also understand that gravity like earth and us okay so here you can see that gravity which would like to act between earth and us so that why you can also understand that gravity wait i'm writing here the definition of gravity 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 that means uh a force a force which force tends tends to attract every object object towards itself okay towards itself okay yes. yes suppose that you can also understand in this way when you will tend to jump or when you will jump then what is the main cause by which each and every time that uh, you again comes on the earth okay yes why because that always earth attract every object towards itself okay that is its gravity okay understand beta yes yeah and electrostatic forces beta electrostatic forces is the type of force which would like to act between two charges give me a second here that electrostatic force the force force which act act between two charges okay yes two charges of two charges uh, means uh, either either positive positive or negative okay yes yes understand that means electrostatic force that will be the force which would like to act between the charges okay either that will be positive or negative okay yes you can also understand in this way suppose that uh if you would like to rub a comb on your hairs okay ja, okay you can you, you can understand in this way also just take few pieces of paper okay just take few pieces of paper which would like to be on a table okay and just take a comb and rub that comb through your hair okay yes okay a comb so when you will rub that comb on your hair so regarding to that comb there will be a type of negative charge okay yes. it will be negatively charged okay negative charge okay so that means everywhere there will be minus 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 okay and whatever paper pieces that are on the table there will be only positive charge okay plus 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 okay when the comb would like to get close to paper pieces then instantly you will see that in next condition in next condition the paper pieces that would like to that would like to attach with comb okay yes paper pieces that would like to attract by the comb and they will attach to it okay so why i am explaining this one i am explaining this one just to explain you about electrostatic force so always remember that the electrostatic forces will act between the objects when they will be oppositely charged okay yes do you understand that yes great so 
first page I explained that to you beta now I'm going to refresh that one and then we will move to the next page okay. yes so we can move to the next page Now, next topic is your forces and Newton's law. Actually, Newton was the scientist who explained the type of balance and unbalance forces. Okay. Firstly, what are the balance forces? Balance forces that means if there are two objects, okay and the same amount of force is acting on both so that will be balance force okay okay and if there are two objects and uh, means different amount of forces that will act on them so that will be non-balance force okay yes means you can also understand that miss uh, suppose Wait a second, I am explaining that to you in written. That will be much convenient for you to understand. Means balance forces. Balance. Balance force. Balance forces. You can understand balance force. Suppose that there are two objects. Okay. Which are hanging. Yes. So if each uh, if on each object the same amount of 5 kg kgf kilogram force that is acting here and 5 kgf kgf force that is acting here so that means they will be in balance condition okay yes so suppose that uh, these are two pans and 5 kilogram objects are placed over there so you can see that 5 kilogram force that is acting on both the pans so they will be in balance condition okay yes balance forces are also for and they will be equal and opposite okay balance forces will be always equal and opposite okay yeah i can write it here balance forces forces equal equal and opposite okay yes yes next one is unbalanced force okay suppose that unbalanced force if there is a point if a different um, magnitude of forces are acting on that point okay so if different magnitude like 1 newton 3 newton 5 newton 2 newton okay and again like 7 newton so you can see that in this condition these are your unbalanced force okay yes unbalanced forces understand beta yes do you understand clearly yes so next one is your Newton's first law of motion okay Newton's first law of motion so according to Newton's first law of motion if an object is in rest position then that will be in rest position or if an object is in motion then that will be in motion until or unless an external force will be applied to it okay yes okay i am going to write that one because that will be much convenient for you to learn that so here you can see then first newton's first law of motion i am writing over here means here if an object is in rest position 
pressed position then it will be in rest position position or if an object be in motion then it will be in motion okay now main thing is that until or unless unless an external force okay external force will be applied to it okay yes it is your perfect definition of newton's first law of motion okay yes so here beta actually indirectly that i explained you two two uh means laws over here just uh, read your red portion and purple one if an object is in rest position then it will be in rest position until or unless an external force will be applied to it it is your inertia of rest okay yeah what i am writing i am writing that red plus purple red red plus purple red plus purple part if you will learn then that is your inertia of wait hold on it is your inertia of rest okay yes inertia of rest yeah okay and the next one is red plus red sorry 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 green plus purple give me a second yeah it will be green plus purple okay green plus purple that will be inertia of motion okay motion okay yes do you understand what i mean to say me suppose that if anyone would like to ask you means uh, fundamentally you have to learn this uh, uh, law that when an object if an object will be in rest position then that will be in rest position or if an object will be in motion then that will be in motion until or unless an external force will be applied to it that is your first law of motion but in this definition there are two different definitions are also there what just read your or learn your red part and purple what that means if an object is in rest position then it will be in rest position until or unless an external force will be applied to it this half law is known as inertia of rest okay yes now if i am explaining inertia of rest so what will be inertia of motion so just learn your green and purple part that means if an object will be in motion then it will be in motion until or unless an external force will be applied to it so that is your inertia of motion okay yes you can also understand inertia of rest firstly i am going to explain you that where inertia of rest is applicable suppose that your father told you that you are you all are going to see a movie okay each and every one would like to be sit in the car okay yes so that means at that condition all of you will be in rest position or not yes and instantly or suddenly your father accelerates the car okay 
so that means in that condition all of you that will go in backward direction okay yes you can also understand in this way suppose that in first position wait hold on like uh, it is a car and you all are you all are sitting over there okay you your yes. mom you your brother your mom and then your father okay yes okay and yes like this and then it is your first condition so suppose that instantly that your father will instantly that now you are in rest position when your father will accelerate the car in forward direction so that means he is applying a force in forward direction or not yes so 100% each of you will go on back direction or not yes it is known as your inertia of rest beta okay okay understand yes now next condition means all of you are moving with car okay all of you are moving in a car okay okay the car is running car is running okay yes. car is running okay so your mom your dad and you okay and your brother okay now car is running okay that means yes. in this direction in this direction car is running that's why that i stayed over on back side yeah so suddenly that when your father will apply brake okay yes so when your father will apply brake so when your father will apply brake so that means you are moving in this direction so applying brake that means now brake will oppose the motion of object or not yes but all of your body will tend to move in forward direction okay yes in that condition when he will apply brake then all of you will go in forward direction okay and your head will stuck okay of your front chairs okay yes and your miss miss a little bit please don't mind of that one and me suppose that your father said or your mother said that would like to stuck on wind screen okay yes and then your mom say what you are doing so that means what 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 does it mean it means that when he will apply a brake okay okay so in a backward direction so in that way that you all will be move in forward direction okay yes it is your inertia of motion okay and the previous one that i explained that to you that is your inertia of rest understand yes do you understand clearly beta yes great so it is a very important question okay so that means so they would like to ask in your test or exam so that means to define inertia of rest or inertia of motion or they would like to ask you that suppose that when there will be a heavy weather okay and then the uh, means leaves of plants or leaves of the tree would like to uh, means uh, uh, wait 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 not in this one that uh, uh when you would like to shake hello hello yes 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 Oh no problem no problem but I am sharing my screen no problem I will upload that I I will upload that video 
up to where that I explained that to you and then whatever that I am going to record now I will also upload that one okay okay thank you yeah yes yes why not it's my duty beta are you able to see on your screen now yes that's great that's great oh yes yes I think that I don't have to I don't have to uh, upload two videos okay because you can see that your uh, time your time is running here okay yeah uh, uh. yes 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 that is counting that that is coming here because that you call me you call me on your side yeah so that means thank god that's good so do you understand these two beta what i had explained that to you yes great so now next is and also do you understand fast law of motion beta yes very good okay next is also we as usual i explained that to you that force are forces are the cause which generally tends to change the shape or size of object okay yes which generally tends to change the shape or size of the object okay so yes. two things that we have to remember that force that act on objects and force that cause changes okay we can also determine that the forces acting on an object can change the shape of the object they can also change the speed of object and also the direction in which object is moving okay yes understand yes yeah and now next is your second law of motion okay yes yeah newton's second law of motion so always remember that means newton's second law of motion that means the direction of object acceleration that will be same as the direction of unbalanced forces okay yes or you can also understand that second law of motion that will be applicable that when a type of unbalanced forces act on an object okay Yes. so when the unbalanced force will act on the object then the direction of the object object's acceleration that will be same as the direction of unbalanced forces okay yes also the magnitude of the object's acceleration varies in the direction proportional to the size of unbalanced forces okay yes so that means whatever will be the magnitude of acceleration that will be directly proportional to the size of unbalanced forces okay yes understand beta yes yeah so uh, or you can also understand that you can also understand that uh, uh, okay i can tell you in another way so second law of motion okay so uh, uh, the rate of the rate of change of motion okay the rate of change of motion is directly proportional 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 to the applied force okay yes applied force okay yes and and object will displace object will displace 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 in the direction direction of applied force okay yes applied force wait i have to 
write it again direction of applied force means what does it mean it means that suppose that there are two objects if there is an object okay that is moving in forward direction okay there is an object which is moving in forward direction if you will apply a force on it okay if you will yes. apply a force on it then it will accelerate quickly or not yes sir. or you can also understand that means suppose that your brother is your brother is walking okay if you will apply force on his back then 100% that his speed will increase or not no yes so that means when you are applying force in which direction the object will also accelerate in the same direction okay okay and the rate of change yes that's why that i am writing here and by which magnitude force that you will apply on your brother the same magnitude or same acceleration that he will also get there okay yes means if you are applying less amount of force so his acceleration will be a little bit less if if you will apply the large if you will apply the large force then his acceleration that will be maximum okay yes. understand yes so according to this formula what i had explained that to you according to this formula you can write that applied force is directly proportional to acceleration okay yes yeah you can see that i am writing here the rate of change of motion as i explained that to you before that rate of change of motion that is defined as acceleration ha huh? beta i explained that to you or not that a equals to final velocity minus initial velocity upon time taken ha huh? yes so in your previous class beta acceleration so that is acceleration you can also understand that rate of change of motion so here i am explaining that rate of change of motion is directly proportional to applied force so that's why i am writing that f is proportional to a when you will remove proportionality sign so f equals to then you have to add a constant so it will be ma so it is your newton's second law of motion okay yes understand yes yeah and also you have to remember that the object acceleration that will be inversely proportional to the mass of object okay object yeah or magnitude of object acceleration that will be inversely proportional with the mass of object what does it mean so that means acceleration is inversely proportional to mass of object what does it mean that means that when mass will be less acceleration will be high you can also understand that if there if there will be a light object light mass object and when you will apply the force on that one then that object will move faster or not yes and if there will be a heavy object and when you will apply force same amount of force on that object then it is not possible to move faster okay yes that's why i am saying that always acceleration is inversely proportional to the mass of object okay yes unit of force as usual that is known as newton beta unit of force is called newton okay always remember that this Uh, yeah uh one newton sometimes that in your test or exam one definition that they would like to ask you that define one newton okay yes what is one newton okay yes one newton so what is one newton so you can see that i am writing that one uh wait mm 
when when uh, okay means uh, the foil or you can write that uh, when a Oh, yeah, I am writing correctly when an unbalanced force unbalanced force produces acceleration acceleration of one meter per second square okay on a mass of mass of one kg okay yes. okay so then that is known as one newton okay yes you can also understand that one newton is defined as the applied force okay applied force on a 1 kilogram mass to accelerate 1 meter per second square okay yes or you can also understand that when you will apply when you will uh, means that means 1 newton that means a force which when apply on a mass of 1 kilogram object to produce acceleration 1 meter per second square that is known as one newton okay yes understand yes yes this one also i explained that to you beta f equals to ma where f is your unbalanced force m is your mass a is your acceleration okay yes do you understand the two laws which i had explained to you yes great so I am refreshing the page with us so that we can move to the next one. Okay, so the third one. Third is your action reaction law. Or oh, you can also understand that Newton's third law of motion. Oh my god, but third law of motion that they didn't explain. Wait, friction they are explaining that. Okay. So friction as I explained that to you that friction is the type of force or friction is the cause which always oppose the motion of object. Okay. Yes. Suppose that if an object that is moving in forward direction then always friction direction will be opposite to the motion of object. Understand? Yes. Okay. Yes, so that means uh, if you are, if you are, uh, I means uh, just uh, they are taking example. If you are moving, if you are displacing a book in forward direction, so 100% of what your force that book will experience in backward direction, that will be your friction, okay? Yes. So always remember that friction is a force that oppose motion, okay? Yes. Or you can also understand that means the cause which obstructs the motion of an object is known as friction. Okay. Yes. Clear, Vita? Yes. You can also understand in this way. Suppose that when you push backward on the door, on the floor, okay, with your foot, then the friction between your foot and the floor exert a backward force on the floor okay that's why that you will be able to move in forward direction okay yes the greater will be the force okay the more will be the motion okay the greater yes. will be the force more will be the motion or more amount will be, uh, more amount object will displace okay yes yeah so all yes I means suppose that i was telling you that force is a type of push or pull so that means in how many amount that you will push the earth okay you will push the earth in the same amount that you will 
accelerate in forward direction okay yes understand yes yes because friction that i explained that to you in your first page so i don't think that i have to explain over here so now next is i don't know that why they are not explaining third law of motion okay next is your calculating unbalanced force okay so calculating unbalanced force okay so you can understand this one like uh, uh hold on calculating unbalanced force suppose that there is a point and on this point there are many forces which are acting in on that object okay yes okay like this so you can see that okay i am also writing their magnitude suppose that 5 newton 4 newton 2 newton 1 newton 8 newton and uh, 6 newton okay yes so if all these forces are acting on the object first of all you can see that their magnitude is not same so that's why you can understand that these are the type of unbalanced forces okay yes always remember that uh, the resultant of unbalanced of forces that will be the sum of all the forces okay so that yes. means clearly you can understand that resultant force resultant resultant force okay so resultant force always remember that it will be like you can see that whose direction will be inside that you can take positive okay yes. like uh, 2 newton and uh, plus uh, 8 newton plus uh, 5 newton okay yes and now whose direction is outward you have to take as negative minus 6 newton minus 4 newton minus 1 newton clear yes so 8 5 13 to 15 15 newton minus 6 4 10 1 11 11 newton so that means 4 newton that will be your resultant force okay yes do you understand that yes great so resultant force and acceleration and as a resultant if me suppose that if the and also resulting force that we are talking about if the resultant force that will be zero so that means you have to understand that the object will be in rest position okay yes yes if an object will be in rest position so that means the resultant force that will be uh, zero okay yes yeah and if there will be no resultant force so also you can understand that the object will be in equilibrium okay yes understand beta yes great so next they are talking about calculating acceleration so beta as i explained that to you just before that uh, I explained that to you just before that F equals to M into A okay yes. where F is your ma F is your force it is your force it is your mass and it is your acceleration okay okay so now if you want to find acceleration so acceleration equals to acceleration equals to force upon mass okay or you can also write that a equals to f by m okay understand yes yeah so always you can also understand that this triangular okay this triangular diagram okay yeah that means force equals to 
mass multiplied by acceleration okay yes. so if two quantities that will be given to you then you will be able to find the third quantity okay yes understand yes so you have to revise all these beta over here okay and uh, let's see that what is given on fifth page wait a second i have to refresh again give me one second let's move to the fifth one okay weight and mass weight and mass okay a little bit i will explain you in your next class beta fundamentally that you know that what is weight what is mass mass is defined as the amount of matter okay which an object contains and what is weight that means mass of the object under gravity that is defined as weight okay yes yeah weight that is measured in newton okay mass is always measures in kilogram okay yes yes w equals to mg that is your formula weight equals to mass into gravitational field strength or you can also understand w equals to mg by this formula that you will be able yeah w equals to mg you can see that w equals to mg so that means if two quantity will be given to you then you can find the third one okay so that will be your weight understand yes me suppose that they are asking one question you are asking on your screen a person has a mass of 60 kg that means m that is given how much do its weight on earth if the gravitational field strength that is value of g that is given 10 okay so w equals to mass that is 60 kg into 10 newton per kilogram okay so 60 tanja 600 kilogram into newton by kilogram so kilogram program will be cancel your answer will be 600 newton okay that will yes. be its weight understand yes Okay beta so thanks for today have a great time your next class will be at 5 pm as per your time okay okay and then we will continue that okay whatever okay. that we are leaving here so thanks for today have a great time bye bye thank you thank